Donna giving us a wave. It's better than anything else. So we give it time to land. Weapons, modified airframe, upgraded uh, engines, a new tail rotor. As you can see, it's a super echo, that's what you want in the environment. Nine straight level, full of environment sitting there, not a good idea to match it. But it's along the snow line here at Barber, so it's on my position on the east and west of each part of the audience can see the helicopter. It looks aggressive, doesn't it? It certainly looks fit for purpose. That helicopter is designed to be an extremely stable platform. Three hours endurance, all weather, day and night capability, extremely versatile, versatile multi roll helicopter, hot and high pull, good, low radar, visual signatures, doing sort of awful sort of commitments in the helicopter, and agility, strength of the helicopter. Low radar, visual signatures, excellent performance, some wings, two hard points, and all pilots. has the ability to operate with laser guided bombs, which is a significant improvement over the use of unguided weapons. You can see the cannon out the front, really visible on the snout of the aircraft. 20mm, the tower is steerable, and got this dual electronic flight control system with mechanical backup. The system also provides auto hover capability along with heading hold, auto stabilization, autopilot modes. Gunner position in the front seat has duplicated flight controls, so it can be useful if you need a pilot as well. Each engine rated at 1,360 sharp horsepower, plus the in Turkey by the Turkish engine industries. Sideways flight. 2007 saw this helicopter selected by the government of Turkey and Turkish land forces. Development and production will be assured with the TAC team, joint partnership of Turkish aerospace industries and Augusta West. This helicopter was delivered to Turkish land forces in April this year. Excellent situational awareness with good visibility arcs, fully integrated mission and communication systems. These through workloads to excellent performance and agility which we've got available. There is another attack helicopter, or indeed this one, I'm not so which, whether this goes back to the static area so you can have a look at it, or whether there's a second one in the static area. That's a level speed, 145 knots, mission takeoff weight. Go up to 20,000 feet if you so wish. Advanced avionics suite comprising the new generation forward looking infrared sighting system. Integrated helmet mounted displays, digital cockpit architecture. Certainly got the latest fire control systems. Both the crew sitting on Martin Baker, patchworthy seats.